Went down south this summer. I was uh, in Mexico City for five days. I just went by myself. I'd never been there before. I love Mexico. I think it gets a bad rap. I love the people, loved it. And everybody was so scared. They were just like, don't go to Mexico City, man. Why? Oh, it's really spread out. It's really crowded and uh, the traffic's horrible and the air quality's bad and there's a lot of crime and you can't speak English everywhere. And I was like, yeah, I live in LA. <laughs> you just described every day of my life for the last 20 years. Ooh, don't tell me, is there a lot of Mexicans there too? What's that like? <laughs> Gee, I hope I understand the food. What is this, a taco? Am I saying that right? Taco, is that right? Interesting. It's no big deal. Tell you why, you live in LA, you go to Mexico, not a big culture shock. You know what's a culture shock to me now? Vermont, that's a culture shock. Alabama, just a bunch of people walking around speaking English and pouring ranch dressing all over everything. What's a gringo gotta do? Get a cold horchata up in here. Where else was, I, I had a far trip last year. I went to Australia, anybody been there? Yeah, it's fun, boy. I love Australians. They're just tan Canadians who surf. That's all they are. <laughs> and again, no one hates them. They get away with anything. Australian guy, these are the least politically correct people you've ever met in your life. They just say anything they want. Blah! They don't care. And they get away with it with that cool accent. Here's something an Australian guy's never done before telling a filthy joke in public. <laughs> never done it. Just blah, just says it. It just covers it up. I know where he's made. Oh, well, that's fine then, I guess. He offended half my wedding, and I think he's dating my wife, but it sounds cool when he says it. I learned how to speak Australian when I was there. It's very simple. All you do is just shorten every word. Breakfast is brekkie. Mosquitoes are mozzies. Sunglasses are sunnies, and board shorts are boardies. They shorten every word, except the names of their towns, which are 85 letters long. <laughs> All right, boys, we're going surfing tomorrow. Eat your brekkie, put on your boardies, wear your sunnies, and look out for the mozzies, because we're going to the town of Boomly 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 Bongo. <laughs> it's just south of Chumpawamba Kajagoogoo. <laughs> nah, no worries, man. Australians get around. I see them all over the world. The only people I see more traveled are the Germans, boy. I, I've never not run into one German somewhere. Woo! You right there? See, there's always one. Always one. <laughs> Two of them. Oh, man. You guys travel everywhere, right? I've never been to a country you haven't been. And, uh, and they like to get off the grid, boy. You could go to the most remote place in the world, hack through four days of Borneo jungle, <laughs> off the grid, off the GPS, off the map. You come across some hidden cove that's overgrown and you think to yourself, wow, I'm probably the first human being to ever set foot on this spot. And the second you lay down your backpack, a naked German couple walks out, Guten Tag! <laughs> Where'd you come from? <laughs> We've been here for three weeks. <laughs> we are German, we have 47 weeks of paid vacation a year. <laughs> hey, did you know Dry Bar Comedy has their own app? Seriously, download it right now to watch, save, and share clips and watch my whole special.